Hey, welcome back to the fourth video in our Easter series. When we left off last time, the crowd was chanting for Jesus to be put to death. The next morning, they delivered Jesus to the Roman governor, a man named Pilate. Pilate did not fully understand why the Jewish leadership wanted Jesus to die. He thought the crowd that gathered around would want Jesus to be released. And so he asked the crowd, what shall I do with this man? And let's pick up the story in Mark chapter 15, starting in verse 12. Pilate asked them, then what should I do with this man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted back, crucify him. Why, Pilate demanded, what crime has he committed? But the mob roared even louder, crucify him. So to pacify the crowd, Pilate released Barabbas to them. He ordered Jesus flogged with a lead-tipped whip, then turned him over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. And they brought Jesus to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull. They offered him wine drugged with myrrh, but he refused it. Then the soldiers nailed him to the cross. They divided his clothes and threw dice to decide who would get each piece. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. A sign announced the charge against him. It read, the King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. The people passing by shouted abuse, shaking their heads in mockery. Ha, look at you now, they yelled at him. You said you were going to destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. Well then, save yourself and come down from the cross. Crucify him, the crowd was chanting. It was common in those days for the Roman government to execute criminals by way of crucifixion or nailing someone to a cross. And that's what they were calling for. Pilate tried to let Jesus go free. He was afraid of what was happening. It seemed the crowd had made up their mind, though. Finally, Pilate agreed to let the people crucify Jesus. He gave him over to the Roman soldiers, and they beat him, and then they led him to the cross. The soldiers nailed him to the cross, and then they put a, a sign over him that said, the King of the Jews, which is kind of another way of saying the Messiah. And he hung on that cross and people came by and they shouted at him and jeered and they taunted and teased him. And they said, why don't you bring yourself down from that cross if you really are the Messiah? It was a sad, sad moment. But remember, it's part of God's good plan for us because he loves us so much. Okay, now it's your turn. Gather together with your family and go through the discussion questions and we'll see you next time.